Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to check out the Hornet King channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the true facts about the Asian giant hornet, Vespa Mandarinia, aka the murder hornet. Also going to be giving you guys comparatives to other hornet species, along with yellow jackets, cicada killers, European hornets, and other types of social wasps. I'm also going to be explaining what it means to have a sighting of Vespa Mandarinia in the United States. So here's the video, guys. Check it out. So lately there's been quite a buzz in the media about murder hornets. But they're actually referring to the largest known hornet species in the world, known as Vespa mandarinia, or Asian giant hornet. A Vespa mandarinia queen can measure up to almost 2 inches long with a 3 inch wide wingspan. They are carnivorous species like other wasps where they actually predate other insects for food. However, the adult mandarinia does not eat its own kill. When a forager goes out and hunts and it kills another insect, it chews up the meat of the insect and flies back to the colony where it feeds the cats to the larva. The larva are actually the real meat eaters of the colony and they require lots and lots of food. After the larva have eaten and digesting the insect meat, they regurgitate a rich enzyme and protein fluid and this is what the adult hornets or wasps will eat. This fluid feeds the entire colony all from the digesting fluid of the larva. So this feeding and being fed cycle is what drives the colony. Adults feed the larva and larva feed the adults. So why are wasps so seemingly aggressive? Why is it that they seem like they're out to kill everything or sting everyone? Well, they're not. So wasps have two main purposes of their stinger or ovipositor, protection of the colony and for hunting. So when a threat comes upon the hive, a pheromone is released into the nest this triggers a response for a swarm to come out and fend off whatever the threat is outside. That's it. So now the wasps also have their stinger or ovipositor and venom to hunt and stun their prey. Vespa mandarini have larger prey, i.e. mantises or other hornets and other types of wasps along with honeybees and therefore have a more powerful venom. They hunt other hornets like Vespa valentina or Asian hornet. Not Asian giant hornet, Asian hornet. So this is where it gets confusing. All social wasps are territorial around their colony. They're protecting their food source, the larva. Now think about this. So it's not that the adult wasp has a personal attachment with the larva, it's that that's their food source. The larva feeds them that enzyme and protein rich fluid, and if the larva die, so do they. So Vespa mandarini has been around in Asia for a very long time. And now all of a sudden, the press is coming out and dubbing them the murder hornet. And this is certainly not true towards people. People are killed every year by every social wasp on this planet. Even bees, your precious honeybees. So the reason that it's reported that nearly 40 people die in Japan every year due to Vespa mandarinia isn't that Vespa mandarina are hunting those people. It's that the people are hunting them. In Japan, the Asian giant hornets and their larvae are considered a delicacy and are sussed out by people to be bagged and sold at market. When people go and try to get these nests, hornets naturally react and sometimes successfully kill people. So what does this mean in the U.S. now that there's been a sighting? Well, there's been a couple sightings of individuals, not actual colonies, up in the state of Washington. So this doesn't mean that there are swarms of Vespa mandarinia just plowing across the continental United States of biblical proportions. All this means that there could have been a couple individuals that were just hunkered down on a shipping crate and had made their way inland. Does this mean there could be potential activity? Of course it does. But that doesn't mean there should be a nationwide panic over the presence of Asian giant hornets. As far as the ecosystem is concerned, yes, they do hunt and kill honeybees. So there is a concern if the nests do take hold in the U.S. that our United States domestic honeybees could be affected. However, so can our domestic yellow jacket and wasp species. Because mandarina don't only kill honeybees, they also kill other hornets and yellow jackets. They're opportunistic hunters. So what does this mean for the other 47 states of the continental U.S.? Nothing. This means nothing for us. Me on the East Coast, even if there was a stronghold of Vespa mandarinia starting over in Washington State, it would take years 
for them to make their way across the continental United States. So all this means right now is that we need to be extra vigilant in Washington state and protecting our ecosystem from these predators that our ecosystem isn't used to. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to check out the Hornet King channel. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop in the comments, let me know what you think. If you have suggestions for future videos, something you'd like to see me cover in an upcoming video, also drop in the comments, let me know. We are so close to the $5,000 mark for the crowdfunding campaign for the Hornet King channel. Thank you so much to all of you who have donated to my channel and supporting me and my content. If you guys would like to donate to the channel, there's a link in the description to go to my GoFundMe page, the crowdfunding campaign. And I appreciate any support. If you guys can't financially support the channel, I appreciate you just being here. Liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting on my videos. It really helps tell YouTube to promote and support my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to check out my videos and supporting my channel. And I'll catch you on the next video.